The, the adage is if you love to clean, then you'll love to make beer. Uh, sanitation is of the utmost uh, priority around here. And there's no one chemical, magic chemical out there that will both clean and sanitize. So with every tank, uh, every time it gets emptied, it first gets cleaned, uh, visually inspected, make sure there's no organic material inside the fermentation vessel. We check every, uh, what we call shadow spots, where the cleaning mechanisms may not have reached. Uh, in between gaskets, make sure the gaskets aren't cracked or corroding or any, anything that could uh, hide a potential uh, hazard microbe that would affect the fermentation or the flavor of a beer. Once we're ensured that it's clean, then we go through a sanitation process, most of the time with, a, with an acid, acid-based sanitizer, um, occasionally chlorine if, if we're worried about a tank. We test the parts per million or the density of the sanitizing solution to make sure that it's at the proper range, that it's not too high or too low to ensure uh, food grade sanitation uh, in each of our tanks. Uh, along the way, we, we keep hose ends off the floor, away from drains, um, you know, try to identify any places that grain dust may have gotten that can affect the beer, and, and really try to be diligent uh, about the inside and the areas around tanks being sanitary uh, to not cause any off flavors or weird um, behavior in the yeast.